What's up everybody? Once again, my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. In the last episode, we completed up the Ocean Temple and in this episode, well, I would like to take care of a couple of side quests before going back to the Tower of Spirits, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's get out of here, Zelda. Do you want to ride the train? Yep, I do. All right then, let's go. You got it. Now, um, funny thing about leaving the Ocean Temple You'd expect the game to put you out on the bottom of the seafloor, right? Well, guess what? Uh, the game doesn't do that for some odd reason. I don't know why, but, um, they put you back up here, which I'm okay with because, like I said, I want to do a couple of side quests, and my first stop is going to be back at the Ocean Sanctuary, so makes my life a little bit easier, but I'll see you guys once we get over to the Ocean Sanctuary. Alright, so we made it to the Ocean Sanctuary, and um, one thing I probably should mention is that I did get attacked by some pirate ships, and apparently that can happen before you beat the temple in this game. I was just like extremely lucky. Uh, someone told me about that in the comments because I totally forgot about that. Anyways though, let's play the Song of Birds real quick. Now, the Song of Birds, like, you'd think, oh, you probably won't play this song that much at all in this entire game, right? Well, honestly, you'd be surprised. Like, there are an alarming number of chests that you can get by playing the Song of Birds, most of which I probably won't bother picking up because I really haven't been, like, putting forth a really large effort to get every single chest in the game. Like, even in the temples, I haven't been going after the ones that are, like, really far out of the way and... Wow, I'm surprised that one actually worked. I did not expect it to, but, um, now I gotta play the Song of Birds again. At least it's a short song, but, um, yeah, we're probably going to be hearing that quite a bit throughout this episode since, um, we need to use a lot in an area coming up, but um, in case you're wondering why I came back here to the Ocean Sanctuary, it's because uh, now that we have the whip, we can actually get the stamp station for this area and uh, do a couple of other side quests back in Papuchia Village, so we might as well stop by there before we go to the Tower of Spirits. But like I said, I want to get the stamp station location, so again, let's pull out our flute and play the Song of Birds. Alright, and now we just gotta wait for- okay, he just phased through solid land. Yeah, pretty sure that's not supposed to happen, but whatever, man. Here's the stamp station. Let's just go and get Nico uh, this next stamp then. And bam, perfect. Alright, so now that we got that, um, we're pretty much done here. Now, if you want to, there is an island on the upper left. You can play the Song of Birds, like, around over here, and a bird will appear and take you to that island. All that's over there is a chest that will contain a random treasure. Um, like I said, I really don't care about the random treasures that much, so I'm not gonna bother picking that one up since it's kind of out of the way. And, um, yeah, it just takes, like, way too much time to grab it. But now that we're done here, um, I guess we can head over to Papuchia Village. Let's talk to Zelda. The Ocean Realm Spirit Tracks have been restored. Let's get going to the Tower of Spirits. Sure, but we're not going to go there just yet. Okay, then, let's go. Let's go indeed. But like I said, we're not going to the Tower of Spirits. We can do a whole lot of stuff in Papuchi Village now that we have the whip. Like, a lot of side quests have actually opened up to us. So we're going to start taking care of a few of those. I'll see you once we arrive in Papuchi Village. Alright. Yeah, that really only took, like two seconds, so probably wasn't even worth cutting out. Oh well, uh, like I said, now that we have the whip, there's a couple of things that we can do here. First and foremost, let's go over where we first met Carbon, and, um, try and latch onto one of the birds that he was flying around on, because this guy will actually take us to a whole new section of this village. Like, honestly, you wouldn't even think to go over here and head down, but Guess what? Yeah, there's a whole nother section of islands with uh, more birds that we need to use to go from island to island. And eventually, we will find the stamp station for Papuchia Village. So, um, I think I might actually need to play the Song of Birds here. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, there we go. See, sometimes, like, the birds will already be in, like, the correct location. That way you can just latch onto them and go. Other times you will need to play the Song of Birds in order to call one right to you. Uh, hopefully this guy brings me to the middle island on the left. Like, that's where I want to go next. Um, looks like he's going over there, so come on just a little bit further. Alright, we should be good. Now we can open up this chest and get ourselves a pirate necklace. Not really why I came here, but, um, yeah, if we play these Song of Birds again from this corner... It should call a bird over to us and, um, allow us to actually go to the bottom left. And that's kind of where I was trying to go since this is where the stamp station is located. So, let's go ahead and get this stamp for good old Nico. Put it right next to the one we just got and bam! Done and done. Alright, um, oh, hang on. The bird's still around here. Come on, can I catch you, please? Come a little bit closer. Please, I just want to, like, grab onto you. All right. No, 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 no. Come back. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, where are you taking me? Because <laughs> I kind of want to go back down to that, like, smaller island or, like, one of the main islands, but you're going in, like, a circle, dude. I, I think this bird is broken, guys. Like, what is even happening right now? Um, all right. You know what? We're, we're going to leave you alone because I, I think you're messed up. Yeah, we'll just call another bird and, um, hop on this guy. I think he knows how to actually fly correctly. Like, seriously, what was the point of that other bird just, like, flying around in a circle? I have no idea. Alright, um, probably gonna have to play this again, aren't I? Man, I hope you guys like that little tune because... Yeah, we're gonna be playing it a lot, actually. Well, maybe not after, like, this section, because I don't really think we need to call on too many more birds after we get out of here, but, um, we'll probably need to use it, like, one or two more times, so, yeah, get used to it. Never mind, though, we can actually just hop on this guy and get going. Um, yeah, this guy seems to be going to the right island, so we're good. That saves us at least playing the song one more time, but we still gotta get back to, like, the main section of the village now, so probably gonna have to play it again. Yes, we are. Awesome. Alright, here we go. Okay, I think that is the last time we will have to play this song in this episode, at least I hope it is, because, man, I am totally done with that. But, um, yeah, now that we're back to the main island, before we leave, um, there's one more thing I want to do, and I want to talk to the NPC that lives inside this house to sort of start a side quest. So what's going on? I believe in the wise one. She said I should find a man to marry. Know anybody nice? Uh, I, I guess, maybe? Really? Then bring him here so I can take a look. Hmm, what's my ideal man? Well, he needs a beard. Facial hair is a must-have. And a large nose. Oh, I love big noses. Let's see, what else? Oh, and he has to be rugged. I like the burly, manly type. See, I don't ask for much. Well, lucky for you, I just happen to know of an entire village filled with people that meet her description. Where is that, you might be asking? Well, think hard, guys. It's actually Whittleton. So, let's head there now. Alright, Zelda, you ready? We restore the tracks in the ocean realm. Let's go back to the Tower of Spirits now. Alright. Okay, let's go. But first, we're gonna stop at Whittleton because that woman, she needs a husband and Link is the ultimate matchmaker. So, we need to do our duty, guys, and I'll see you once we arrive at Whittleton. Okay, so here we are at Whittleton. Now, before we play matchmaker and find that woman a husband, what do you say we do something fun and play a little bit of a minigame? We couldn't have done this unless we had gotten the whip, so you need to wait until after you beat 
uh, the Ocean Temple, but now we can head up back towards where we got the stamp for this location. And uh, we can use our whip to cross both of these gaps. So first and foremost, let's head up here. Um, because I believe there is a small chest. And this one's easy to collect, which is why, you know, I'm going to grab it. Because if it was any harder, probably wouldn't bother doing it. So let's see what we get. It's a Rudo Crown, and not bad, not bad at all. You know, actually, now that I think about it, coming up, there might be some areas where we do need some money, so... Getting these treasures might not be a bad idea, and I kind of regret, like, skipping over a few of them now, but... We should be fine. Let's keep going, though. And, um, on this side, we should find an NPC hosting a minigame. Yeah, there he is. Let's talk to him. Hey, how about this guy, Link? Think he'd be good for the woman in Papuchia? Oh, no, crap. Um, I don't know if I can do this now. He's young and seems to dress decently. Sure, he's on the skinny side, but... What, you found me a potential wife? Oh, but I'm kind of committed to the single life. Unless she's filthy rich, then I could probably break that commitment. You don't know if she's rich? Well, let's go find out. Ah, uh, forget about it, dude. Well, it's no skin off my back. It was your idea, after all. Anyways, moving on. I guess it's time to get down to business. Okay, good, we're fine. I'm glad you found us all the way back here. This is the ultimate place for thrill seekers and locals who like to hang out. Har 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 har. Try your hand at a whip race, it's just 50 rupees. Alright, let's do it. Listen up, I'm going to explain how to play. There's only one rule, use your whip to swing across to the finish line. If you get a good time, you'll receive a prize. Okay, off you go. Yeah, they literally just throw you, like, right into this, but it's pretty easy. Just, uh, use the whip to swing across these posts and get past any obstacles and reach the finish line in under a minute and 30 seconds. Now, there's actually two rewards for this minigame, so we will be playing it twice. Um, if you get under 1 minute and 15 seconds, you will get a heart container. If you get... Over 1 minute and 15 seconds, but under 1 minute and 30 seconds, you will get a bomb bag. And this minigame is kind of weird in how it works. So, here's the deal. Like, um, if you get under 1 minute and 15 seconds, you'll get the heart container first. Like, I guess it's supposed to be intended as the second prize. But, um, if you get the heart container first, then get under a minute and 15 seconds again... You will not get the bomb bag. It's really weird. So, if you're good at the game and get the heart container first, and then continually good at the game, uh, you won't get the bomb bag. Which means you're missing out on a whole, like, set of bombs that you could have had. So you intentionally need to, like, get over the 1 minute and 15 mark in order to get the bomb bag. I don't know why they did it that way, because most other, like, Zelda minigames, um account for that and we'll give you the second prize if you do it twice in a row but yeah there we go minute 1471 so we crossed the finish line for the first time good job not a single miss wow your time was 114.71 wow you beat the average that's a pretty good time i'll give you this for your effort all right and we did get the heart container first sweet not bad uh, we do need to play this minigame twice, though. So come by again, and we're gonna play this again one more time to get the bomb bag, so I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright, 123.54. I kind of just, like, hung it at the end there. Nice work. Your time was 123.54. A passable effort. You should keep practicing. What are you talking about, man? I beat your game fair and square both times, but now we got the medium bomb bag. We can carry more bombs. Come by again. Alright, we won't though because we are done here. That's pretty much all I wanted to get from that minigame. Now that that is done though, let's go back to the main section of Whittleton Village and uh, see if we can find that woman in Papuchia, a man that is suitable to be her husband. Now, who could we choose? Because there's tons of people here that could fit that description, but... um. We might as well just go and talk to the head honcho here, so what about you, fine sir? Hey, how about this guy, Link? 
Think he'd be good for the woman Papuchia? He's pretty old, but he's definitely rugged. A wife, you say? At my age? Hmm, perhaps it would be better to ask one of the other villagers. Then again, fate reveals itself in strange ways. Okay, I'll go with you. Are we leaving now? Yep. Then I'll go wait for you at the station. Alright, so we got ourselves a passenger. Hopefully it's the right guy. Don't worry, it is. But, um, now we gotta take this guy all the way back to Papuchia Village on our train, so... Let's get to it, Zelda. Oh, do you want to take the train out of here? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Now, we've done this whole passenger thing before, and we've also been to Papuchia Village before, so in order to save time, um, I'm just going to cut this out. It's really not too hard anyways. You just got to pay attention to the signs. You guys know the drill, so I'll see you guys once we arrive. Okay, so we made it, and our passenger is perfectly happy. Another satisfied customer. So, my wife-to-be lives in this village. Well, I guess I'll go find her now. Uh, dude, you don't even know where she lives or what she looks like. Do you, do you want me to take you to her? I could totally do that for you. Ah, we made it, whatever. You brought a man back for me. Really? Oh, I'm so nervous. So, you're the eligible bachelorette. I don't mean to embarrass you, but... You're just stunning. I don't think anyone could ever hold a candle to you. That magnificent beard! That stunning nose! I think I've finally found my Mr. Right. You have to be the one that the wise one was talking about. This must be fate. I, for one, think we should get married right away. I couldn't agree more. Oh, I love a happy ending. It looks like it all worked out, Link. I can't tell you how happy I am. Oh, snap, check it out. It's a force gem. We did it. Here, take this as my way of saying thanks. Sweet. We got another force gem, and now some more spirit tracks are going to appear on the forest rail map. Looks like it makes a alternate path now from the bridge. Cool! Alright, well I'm sure the relationship that is based solely upon appearances and the fact that they just met and are getting married will last for a very long time. But I think that's a good place to end off this episode. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.